Good morning, guys. Welcome to another one. Uh, we are headed in, what's the name of this one? Hatch Attack. Hatch Attack. Who's it hosted by? Hatch uh, Attack? Yeah, it's hosted by Hatch Attack <laughs> at, at 2.30 Cars and Coffee in at, location. There we go. All right. We're going to run through. Um, there's a bunch of good cars in the parking lot, so yeah. we'll show you guys what's here. As always, you guys drop those comments, let us know what you think, and uh, we're going to get at it and have some fun. All right. All right, guys, so there is some really good cars here. So we got DC5, we had a bunch of EGs and EKs as we go down through. I'll show you guys what they got parked in this section. Oh, look how we put the AM in the center console. And then he threw a stack gauge inside the, the cluster. That's a, that's a really nice touch. And then the black EK on Mugens. Got it out, bread seats. Nice. CRV coming through. Got the Kerrari over here. We've seen this one a handful of times um, on CEs. This one's fully done. This one for for our project car is, I think, as perfect as you can get in between the paint, how clean it is under the hood, everything else. Uh, you can see the, the standard white here with the champ white with some bronze TEs. You have the EG, bronze TEs, blue Willwoods. You got the confetti Recaros. <laughs> and then, like I was saying over here, the, the other blue EG is really. The other blue EG over here is super, super clean. <laughs> like, got the red Recaro's in it. Got the Green EG this is the one that's got the yellow Recaro's in it. I really like this car. Like this one, this one's super nice. Uh, S2000 dash, AM gauges, everything else. And he's got the the green TEs. Let's see what else we got. Got a couple FK8s over here. A lot of EGs out here. Super, super clean. He ended up putting the full radiator in his versus the, the little half radiator. Red one's nice and clean. Under the hood is, is real good. See what he's got inside. Got some Corvo seats. Everything got in the bag. I mean, that's that's what you'd expect. And then we go from a bunch of little Hondas to an R35 on some Time Attack TEs. Car looks so gigantic compared to like it's surrounded by EGs and it looks so huge compared to them. <laughs> they got the TSX, your R set up. 
nice old BMW and then this is just the one lot and then it all overflows over here so I'm gonna run through over here I'm gonna show you guys what they got on this side real quick um, again there's a bunch of really good cars so let's see I this is like like an EG just convention of cars so yeah another race prepped one PCI sides Will Woods looks like everybody's running the Will Woods it's a it's an easy just bolt on this guy's got the Sparco seats in here like the Miracle Bar in the back got that got that gut like that I, I can't say it isn't how I would do it. It's probably exactly how I would do it. I'd get the whole interior except for door panels and dash and run a seat, maybe two, and that's it. I'd be done with it. You parking over here now, right? Huh? No. Getting under that car, it's like, it scares me, dude. Got a wide bodied, wide fendered, front fendered. EK. It's got the B20 in it. On some CEs. Got the drone overhead if you can't hear them. Let's run down through these a little bit. That's the CSX. All right, guys, here's a question for you. Which hatch is this? Because it looks awful like a like an EG, but it's not. So that, that'll be your only clue. It's not an EG. So you guys, let me know what you think about this one. Got a real clean EP3. Let's see what else we got. Lars Texas, Lars 2000. And it's always kind of been garage. Then I got, to do got the K swapped CRX. I think barely, barely fits in here. If you want to know if it fits, uh, yes, technically it does fit. But there is definitely a lot of clearancing you have to do to uh, to get that big boy in there. Nice clean EK on some like EM1 wheels. Guess it's good. Finally a switch from the TEs. Everything else is always TEs. See? TEs. <laughs> so I got some of the EF guys over here. They're both really clean. Another EG. Wide fendered. It's that championship white color. I think they're like five zigging wheels. I think that's which ones those are. Let's see what else we got down this run. Noble random cars because they're doing business. I don't know. 
Right hand drive, Honda. I think it's a Civic. I'm gonna go to the back in just a minute, but it's all wheel drive, wagon. Um, it's pretty cool. He's got on spoon calipers, TEs. See, this is this is one of those ones where, like, this is why I like coming out. So, okay, so it's not a Civic. I'm sure I'm sure all you Honda purists would already know that, and will kill me in the comments for it. But it it's cool. Like, I'd never seen it before. Four wheel drive. It looks just like a Civic. I mean, the interior is all Civic, so I wonder if it's just renamed um, for the market it was sold in. You guys, let me know. Was this was this a Japan only? Where was where was this one? Where was this one uh, produced and released? It's got kind of like a push bar on the front, but and then it's like a weird off mint color. Everything about it's weird, but everything about it's cool. I don't know. I, I really, I really like this one. It, like it's everything about it's different, um, and that's like I said, that's one of the reasons I like coming out to these meets. You know, I, I enjoy all the other cars and everything else, but just just the fact that I get to see something like this, which I wouldn't see any other time. Um, that's that's what I enjoy. It's great that that people not only get you know import cars like this, um, you know, but they bring them out and we we get to see them and everything else so it looks like it was imported from japan he's got the shacking and the you know the inspection stickers and everything up on the windshield it's kind of funny because it has like some basic damage to like the bumper and the rear quarter on the other side that uh that just weren't fixed I don't know. it doesn't even take away from the car it looks really good so we got a couple fits got my fd2 conversion that i love i really i really need to get one of these all turboed turbo rsx we just have a handful of other cars that are here this uh this four door if i remember correctly oh what a this had the the weird engine in it that nobody liked um it's got brembos on it it's k swapped with a supercharger um i mean that's that's pretty cool thanks for hanging out to the end um that was the hatch attack meet that uh that was actually a lot of fun so there were a lot of good cars that came out um i i really enjoyed the location so it was I, i'll drop i'll drop the address below i'll drop you know the the company that hosted the event because they they had a coffee shop in the front but then in the back they had like three lifts and they have workspace in the back which was really cool so i i guess they run as a dual business there it's the first time i've been there so that was uh that was pretty interesting um but yeah you guys let me know what you think drop those comments below let me know what your favorite car was um for me it was that that all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive honda looked like a civic wagon but it was listed as something else um so that was that was definitely um my my favorite of today so but you guys let me know what you think um i'm gonna get going as always i appreciate you thank you for hanging out to the end and um 
we'll keep doing this. So I'll see you guys at the next one. Thanks.